Welcome in, Greg Ruff and Faith Wilkin. The women's basketball team is here, and Faith is a freshman. Fortunately or unfortunately, she'll be a freshman again next year. So just to start there to talk about uh, coming to Trevecca, and I know that uh, one of the neat things about you that I would share with people is, like, your parents and you came to a lot of games during your senior year of high school. I mean, I would say it was like I kept thinking, oh, whose parents are they? And it was a recruit, a signee. And talk about that and how invested you guys were in Trevecca even before you got here. Well, I've lived here my entire life in the Nashville area, and I never really knew what, what Trevecca was until they really started recruiting me the summer of my junior year. And um, But even then, I didn't know that much about it until I came on a visit here. And it was pretty much as soon as I went on the visit, I just knew like this was where like I wanted to go. And after I committed, I just wanted to keep learning as much as I could about it because I was so excited about coming here. I just really wanted to keep getting the feel for it, so I kept coming on visits and like coming in trying to get more information because I was just so excited about getting to actually come to school here. That's a that's a neat story. That doesn't happen all the time, but it's a it's a neat it's a neat way to do it. Also, I like the fact you wanted to know more about it and uh, experience before you got here. I'm kind of like that when I go camping. I want to think about camping and everything about it beforehand. Then it kind of makes the, the, the time more uh, valuable, I think, when you get there. But uh, but your, your parents came too. That was like, and I saw your parents here without you here, which was, uh, which was impressive. So uh, talk about your parents and what they have meant to you through uh, your journey to, to make it to college. Um, my parents, they are the ones that really like got me into sports and they kept pushing me to whatever I do it didn't matter it didn't matter if it was sports but if it was then be the best at whatever it is and work hard every day to keep improving and never be satisfied with where I'm at and they really made me realize that I, I wanted to play in college because I wanted to go to that next level and I wanted to be able to help them out and repay them for what they've done by getting a scholarship and getting my education paid for so that way they could have some. They could be proud of all the work they put into me throughout the years. Absolutely, that's uh, that's neat. To, it's neat to hear you say that too. And I'm sure your parents appreciate that. Now you you end up here at Trevecca, and uh, you played in two and a half games. And I'm qualifying that because you said two and a half games. I said three. <laughs> two of them were exhibition. One of them was uh, was a regular season game, and you got hurt in that game. Now, if I was going to choose two and a half games to play in, it would be playing at homecoming. And getting to play at UConn, so we'll talk about that first. The the two that you, games you played in full. Talk about homecoming, what that experience was like. Starting your, even though it was an exhibition, we treat it like it's a, a big deal here, and it is because it's homecoming. And then you got to go play at UConn. So talk about those two things. It was definitely quite a difference between the two games, but they were both extremely fun. Very great uh, first experiences at the college basketball level. Uh, homecoming, it was just because it was so packed, there were so many people here, and it was like such a fun environment to like really kick off the season, and we just had a lot of fun out there, and then we got to play UConn four days after that, and that was just, I was really nervous about that for a really long time, but once we stepped on the floor, like kind of all the nerves went away, and I was just, went out there and we just had fun, really enjoyed getting to play against such high level competition, people that we've heard about all our lives, and just really enjoyed the moment. So then, then you you have an injury in the next game, the, fir the first home game, and uh, and you're out for the season. And so, but talk about just kind of that progress because you're already back. I see you you're shooting and you're you're working hard. You you're in the gym every day, and it's like you haven't missed a beat. Well, it was really hard at first. It was pretty discouraging because I never thought that that injury would actually happen to me. You know, you kind of just you hear about it all the time, but you never really think that it'll actually happen to you. But once I had some time to process it, I just realized, you know, sitting here and being upset about it isn't going to get anything done. All I can do is keep doing everything that they allow me to do and just working really hard every day so that way when I do come back, I can be even better than I was before. And that way the next four years, like, I won't waste a minute of it because I know what it's like now to not be able to play mm -hmm. and do what I love. So. I'm really looking forward to getting back in like each next step in my rehab. I'm just doing everything I can right now. I want to tell you all, we work in the in the uh, our office is kind of in the gym here, and every day, every day she's in the gym, and uh, that that's very very impressive. Faith Wilkin, freshman on the Trevecca women's basketball team. You can find out more about the Trojans at tnutrojans.com.